Hello there, welcome. My name is Olof, and today I will guide you through the basics of the certification called ISO 11612, which is the European standard for protective clothing against heat and flame. The standard decides the minimum performance requirements and are defined by six code letters, each described as type of main risk. The purpose of this film is to explain what risk the code letter stands for. The code letters themselves are divided into different protective levels depending on the degree of risk. It is of importance to make an adequate risk assessment. The garment is a result of risks identified from the risk assessment. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. A. Limited flame spread. This test simulates a person being exposed to any kind of open flame. Ah! I'm okay. The garment's task is to limit the flame spread and for the garments to self-extinguish. A is divided into two levels of hazards. Surface ignition, A1, and edge ignition, A2. B, convective heat. Heat is transported by air. The garment must block the heat from transferring through and prevent injuries on the inside. Yeah, I'm okay. B is a general risk area for several work environments. B is divided into three performance levels. C. Radiant heat. Heat is transported by radiation, like the high temperature from a hot oven. I'm okay. Exposed to this type of hazard is often casting workers. The garments must block the radiation energy, but also prevent material to self-ignite under high stress. C is divided into four performance levels. D. Molten aluminium splashes and E. Molten iron splashes. Garments with protection against molten aluminium or iron splashes are tested to not compromise the safety of the wearer. Test result is based on whole formatations and the fabric is not allowed to ignite. Foundry men are examples of a wearer who need this type of protection. D and E also have special design requirements besides the general ones. Garment construction must be designed to prevent pleats that can act as trapping points for splashes. Yikes! I'm okay. D and E are both divided into three performance levels. F. Contact heat. Protection against direct contact with high temperature object. The garment must block the temperature increase and is tested at temperature 250 degrees. Ouch! I'm okay. The hazard of contact heat can be found in most work environments where flame retardant clothing is required. F is divided into three performance levels. That's it for me. Please follow this guide and you will also be okay. Bye!